Hi, Dr. Axe. I want to talk about your comments about estrogen dominance. It's surely one of the biggest problems our culture faces today in the Western world and in Europe. Uh, however, if you look at the Asian culture, they have far less estrogen dominance, except for those groups where they're starting to become more Americanized and import our foods. Let's address a few things. Number one, I think it's important to recognize that I agree with you, that dairy product uh, yogurt and milk and cheese are a huge source of estrogen exposure causing estrogen dominance and uh, the side effects of estrogen dominance in both men and women. So I agree with you there. And indirectly sugar would play a role and I'm agreeing with you should eat whole natural foods and not ex extract out the sugars. Uh, I would also suggest that we minimize the amount of gluten and processed grains and we eat whole foods beans and peas, fresh fruits and vegetables, and I agree with you on that point. However, you didn't bring up the leading cause of estrogen exposure beyond even dairy product, beyond xenoestrogens, beyond pass, uh, plastics, pesticides, and uh, chemicals in the environment. What is it? Bar none, it's coming from meat itself. And even if it's range-fed and it's not force uh, infused with added hormones, if it's uh, the animal itself, keep in mind that whether it be red meat or the light colored meat pork or lamb or chicken, uh, all these animals are highly estrogenic animals. That's just their nature. And we can compare uh, a female human menstruating uh, woman who produces about 16 micrograms of estrogen a day. You compare that to a sheep, which is about 99 micrograms of estrogen per day. You take a pig, which goes between 100 and 200 micrograms, but if you take a menstruating pig, it's gonna be somewhere between 200 and 500 micrograms, and a um, pregnant cow or a pig produces somewhere between 10,000 and 110,000 micrograms of estrogen a day. Why am I going into all this? It's because animals themselves produce massive amounts of estrogen that ends up in the, in the urine and the feces and runs off into the, the, the water supply, into the croplands, uh, spreads throughout our environment. Uh, we also then insult to injury. We eat those animals and we have to raise all kinds of grains and things to force feed these animals to fatten them up. So it's a vicious cycle. We're producing so much estrogen that every society now is at risk for estrogen dominance. So I know it's kind of a far-fetched idea, but we've got to move toward a plant-based whole foods diet, move away from your proteins coming from animal and meat because they're so highly estrogenic. And we've got to start taking supplements that will clear out these harmful estrogens and usher them through their pathways to clear out of your body these toxins. So you need DIM, dinylmethane, indole 3 carbonyl, which comes from cruciferous vegetables. These are going to help detoxify uh, the harmful estrogens into a good, a safer, uh, more usable form of estrogen in both men and women. We also can take uh, the product called Live Detox, which has turmeric, astragalus, and cypress, asparagus, and these combination herbs have the ability to stop the conversion or rheumatization of testosterone to estrogen. That's very important particularly for bodybuilders and guys who don't want to have man boobs. And next, you've got to uh, take DHT block with its polyphenols to stabilize the insulin, with its whole uh, dim methane with an absorbable form, uh, along with uh, the ability to detoxify these harmful estrogens so the DHT doesn't get too high, but it's in an ideal range. Uh, this is going to be very important for manifesting your ideal body shape and look. And you also need some um, methyl donors that come from dimethylglycine and adrenal DMG. Uh, that comes from apples, but it helps to contribute and move the estrogens out through their pathways, along with um, vitamin B12, the methylcobalamin, uh, and the 5-methyltetrafolate from the folic acid. Uh, that's in a product called Stay Young. And we also uh, would encourage uh, the use of all these natural whole food supplements, the, the whole foods diet, exercise, outdoor daylight, and uh, get in a good hard workout at the gym and optimize your hormone levels to the best that you can and see an anti-aging doctor to monitor your hormone levels through not just blood tests but urine tests as well because you're going to really see the whole spectrum of how estrogens affect your body.
And for those of you who think that soy is a leading cause of breast cancer or estrogen dominance, um, there's two definitive studies, the JAMA Journal American Medical Association, December 2009, that reports clearly that those women who consumed the most amount of soy product had the lower rate of breast cancer. And in another more recent study, Cancer Epidemiology uh, Biomarkers in uh, 2011, uh, that was a very large study and it showed the women consuming the most soy foods had the lowest uh, risk of breast cancer. If they did develop breast cancer, its reoccurrence or its mortality or the eventual death rate was far lower than in women who did not use uh, soy products. Asian women traditionally eat a lot of soy products. Uh, I would encourage you to use the fermented uh, tempeh that's better for you, the um, edanami, which is the whole soybean. Whenever you process and turn it into tofu or you fry it, certainly um, I would suggest you minimize or avoid as much as possible. So uh, the ligands from flaxseed, that was also shown in 2009 in the urology journals to help curtail or reduce the rate of pro prostate cancer and prostate enlargement in men, particularly when they were on a low-fat whole foods diet and then add the flaxseed into the diet, that was a really protective, important protective factor for the men. So guys, you want to avoid man boobs, you want to reduce the risk of pro prostate cancer and prostate enlargement, you don't want to be fat or obese, and women, you want to be shapely and fit and have natural estrogen levels, not external estrogens infiltrating into your body, these harmful estrogens, then Follow a Simply Healthy Cookbook approach, whole food nutrition, and uh, utilize uh, the supplements that I recommend and follow these guidelines. This is going to make a big difference in your body and your health.